Hello everyone and welcome to the latest version of Shimiji available, as always, from KilkaCon.com. Head on over to KilkaCon.com slash Shimiji and click the Download Now button and you'll be able to get Shimiji for your very own. What's new in this latest version of Shimiji, I hear you ask? Well, there's a number of new features and bug fixes, so I'm going to be going through those one by one for you shortly. I'm just bringing up an example for you now. I'll be using an EV by my good friend Catchamon, so thank you for that. And I'll, let's drag them onto the main screen now. So, there's a lot to go through. So first off, in the Allowed Behaviors menu, there's a bunch of new options. So for example, there's this new Transformation option, which can be enabled or disabled. If it's disabled, then transformations such as EV's evolution here will no longer work. Let's try it out now. Boom, and the evolution was cancelled using the power of B or an Everstone, or more accurately in this case, the transformation option. There's also this new move between screens option. This was added to fix this bug reported by Nitter, where things on the lower screen would climb up to the main screen under their own free will. Use this new move between screen options, turn that off, and the Shimiji can no longer leave the screen that you put them on. You could still change their screen, by dragging them from one screen to another. Of course, you don't know there's a screen over here, but trust me, there is. I'm currently using it for my notes. But yes, that is a thing. Let's go on to the next feature. The next feature I'm gonna show off is the new sound folder here. So you can now put your sounds into this folder and they'll be read by all of your Shimiji that are using sounds. You can also make individual folders for individual Shimiji as well underneath here. I haven't used this one, but that is also valid, so. Um, you know, this could be put in there and that would work just fine as well. But the old location underneath your image directory still works. The said generic sound folder though is there in case you're using a Shimiji that wants to share a particular sound amongst all of the Shimiji that are currently there. Works well. And a final note regarding the sounds of that generic folder, I did forget to mention, as far as um, being able to access this, you just need to be able to, you just declare it as if it was a normal sound. You don't need to worry about any of this dot dot slash anymore. You could just straight up go, boom, there it is. Let's now show off another sound related feature. To do this, I'm actually gonna disable this EV for a moment. So let me just go ahead and do that because it's gonna be a little bit easier. Here we are now. So I now have the ability to right click on this person and cl click play music. And behold, music is playing. But let's say I wanted to hear that epic intro of that intro of that music piece again. And now I can. That wouldn't be possible before. And let's just say all this music is getting a bit too much for us. Well, we could stop the music. Like so. This is done through the new mute action, which has been added into Shimiji. So if you have a look here, so the first thing we need to do is to declare the mute action like so. You just need to have this entire line added to the top of your action list, and then you can use mute throughout your uh, actions.xml. Now I've made two new sequences here. The first is play music. You can see it uses the mute and it mutes a specific sound. In this case, triumphant, which is the name of the music track we were listening to. And you, as you can see here, it then does sit in speed head, which in this case plays the sound again. Stop music uses mute without a sound parameter being declared. This will then stop all sounds, no matter who's making them. The whole sound engine will just stop and then be available again for new sounds to play after that. So depending on what you want to do, you can either mute specific sounds or you can mute all sounds. Those are the options available to you. Okay, so what next? We can show off the scaling features next. So we've added into here, well, I've added, uh, the new uh, HQX filter. First, we're going to say, let's go to four times. This is actually the reason I turned off the EV because uh, if you're using a Shimiji that uses a lot of frames, this is probably not gonna work because it's just gonna take like 10 minutes to actually cook. But let's turn on the filter now. So it doesn't look particularly good with this chap, but you could see here between the legs here and underneath the head how a filter has been applied to smooth out the pixelation. So your mileage may vary from Shimiji to Shimiji how effective this is. On um, very complex Shimiji, it may not look particularly good or it may take a bit too long to start, but it is now there for those who wish to take advantage of it. This is using Edu Gracia's version, it's open source, and um, of course, if you're a programmer type, you can find it all on GitHub and that sort of thing. Uh, what else can I cover? 
The last one is a little bit hard to describe. We'll turn this filter off. Uh, but so I'm just going to tell you how it works. If I'm not going to do it now because it'll break the recording. But if you were to lock your screen and then go away and then come back using Windows L, um, that would actually break your Shim EG. That would freeze. And the reason for that is because the mouse cursor would disappear and they didn't know what to do when there was no mouse cursor. That's now been fixed, so they will now no longer be um, freaked out by you locking your screen and walking away. Now that I think of it, there's actually one additional feature that I have neglected to mention so far, and that's the use of the new count variable as opposed to total count. As you can see here, total count will mean that these inspect grass actions will only happen when there's at least more than one shimeji of any type. However, this new count variable will only count shimeji of the type of interest. So in this case, this file is the EV mail file. So this would only count male EVs as opposed to any kind of EV or EV Lucian. Makes sense? That's what it's for. And there's some special features, no doubt, that you can come up with as a result of this new variable. That all we've got for you today. A number of bug fixes and new features to have um, a bit of fun with sounds, the new scaling option, uh, the ability to toggle multiple uh, screen behaviors under here, and the ability to turn off transformations. I hope that you'll enjoy this new version of Shimeji. As always, if there's any more comments you'd like to have or suggestions, hit me up in the Discord. That is the best place to get a hold of me. And of course, if you are interested in supporting further development, there's always the Patreon. There's a number of people here, yeah, 10 of them. Oh, feels good. Thank you for supporting and thank you for enjoying Shimeji. And I'll see you next time right here at Conflux Games.